Be careful, the keto and low carb monster is gonna gobble up your thyroid and it's not gonna be able to function anymore. Guys and gals, like, no, that's not what happens. The ketogenic diet and the low carb diets do not render your thyroid useless. Is I have so many contact form submissions and so many things that come through with people that are concerned about the ketogenic diet affecting their thyroid. Okay, there's one thing I wanna get out in the open right here. Carbohydrates cause a spike in thyroid hormone. So what ends up happening is generally speaking, when you're consuming carbs, your thyroid levels are gonna remain and show elevated because you have an elevation of T3, thyroid hormone, literally just to process those carbs. Nothing else, just to process those carbs. So yeah, your T3 levels might show a little bit lower on a keto or low carb diet. But let's go ahead and let's dive into this and do a deep dive. Hey, you are tuned into the internet's leading performance, fat loss, and nutrition channel. New videos coming out every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time. And heck, why not put videos out the rest of the week as well? So we usually do. Also, turn on that little bell button so you can turn on notifications whenever I go live and never ever miss a beat. All right, let's go ahead and let's get into the details here. So I wanna start with one study that was published in the Journal of Diabetes and Metabolism. And the reason I wanna start with this is because this is the study that a lot of people reference when they talk about thyroid function and a low carb diet. So what this study did is it did a deep dive into a lot of participants that were following a low carb or ketogenic diet. And it found that when on a low carb diet, they had an increase in fatty acid substrates. They had like glycerol, they had all these things that are related with fatty acid metabolism, beta hydroxybutyrate increase. They also had a decrease in glucose and a decrease in plasma insulin levels. But additionally, they found a decrease in T3, dun, dun, dun. And then they found no change in T4. Let me give you a quick breakdown on thyroid function really quick. T3 is just what is active at that point in time. T3 is your active thyroid hormone. It's gonna ebb and flow depending on the time of day, depending how cold it is, depending how active you are, et cetera, et cetera. T4, thyroxine, is the precursor to triiodothyronine, T3. So if T4 is unchanged, then you're usually not having any issue. If your T4 levels were suppressed, then that would mean that the precursor to T3 would have a problem. And then you might have a thyroid problem. Okay, let me explain in a little bit more detail why this isn't concerning, and I'll reference another study. You see, there's a study that was published in Metabolism, Clinical and Experimental, and it took a look at healthy test subjects that were consuming a normal carbohydrate-rich diet. And what they did is they had them go ahead and start a keto diet. So they were eating approximately 48% carbohydrates. Okay, these are 12 healthy men. And then they had them go onto a keto diet. But what they found when they went on the keto diet is they had a decrease in fat mass of 3.4 kilograms. That's a pretty good amount. It's about 10 pounds, close to 10 pounds. Okay, then they had an increase in lean body mass, 1.1 kilogram increase in lean body mass. Okay, and then they had a decrease in glucose, decrease in insulin, slight, slight elevation in T4, so thyroxine, and no change in T3. Why is this important to know? So what this shows us is that on the keto diet, you're able to lose weight and build muscle something that would be extremely difficult if you had poor thyroid function. So it goes to show that it's not a matter of the thyroid being rendered useless by the ketogenic diet. Sometimes the thyroid hormone is simply suppressed because of calorie restriction. When we reduce our calories, our thyroid function slows down. You see, our thyroid is like a barometer for everything that's going on. If we are less active, thyroid hormone generally comes down a little bit. If we are not eating as much, thyroid hormone comes down a little bit. It's a simple barometer for what we're experiencing and what we're exposed to at that point in time. So the fact is, whether you lose weight on a keto diet or you lose weight on another diet, your thyroid function is probably gonna diminish. And sometimes it's simply masqueraded by the fact that you have carbs in the system. So you have sort of this ancillary amount of T3 that's just actively doing its thing just to process carbs, but has zero effect on your metabolism or weight loss whatsoever. In fact, the journal Thyroid published a study that took a look at 47 participants that lost weight over the course of a year. They lost about 5 to 10% of their overall body weight, and they found at the end of that year, they had a big decrease in T3. They went from 112 nanograms per deciliter down to 101 nanograms per deciliter. That's pretty significant. And this was all done through a variety of different weight loss mechanisms, through different calorie restrictions. So it doesn't mean that just one particular way is going to do it. It means that in the aggregate, losing weight is going to slow down your thyroid function. It's going to make it so that you have less T3 floating around through your system. But as long as you can take care of yourself and consume some things that actually support the conversion of T4 to T3, you're gonna be in good shape. So that's what it comes down to. So let me give you some tips and tricks to help that conversion process out, because that's what we need to be paying attention to, is that conversion from T4 into T3. Now, let me tell you this. Every single one of these foods that I'm going to mention right now 
you can get at an extreme discount by heading over to Thrive Marketplace. Okay, so they've sponsored this video because they know the importance of this. So you can head on down to the link that's down in the description and you can get the things I'm gonna talk about super, super cheap, like way cheaper than the grocery store and you're gonna get them delivered to your door. That's the cool thing about Thrive is they make it totally possible to get what you want without ever having to leave your house and have things drop right on your doorstep. But to make things better, it's literally cheaper. It's even better than Amazon, quite honestly, with a lot of things. So these foods that you wanna be getting a lot of are gonna be seaweed. Seaweed and kelp are very, very high in iodine, okay? Iodine supports that conversion process. It is super necessary, okay? T4 cannot convert to T3 without iodine. Our thyroid gland has actual iodine receptors on it to go out and grab the iodine. We don't get a lot of iodine unless you're eating low quality iodized salt, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. That's why they put it in that salt in the first place because they saw that people were deficient in iodine. Just eat seaweed, little seaweed snacks. They're awesome and you can get them right at Thrive and you can get them cheap, okay? The next thing you wanna be consuming is gonna be Brazil nuts. You don't have to consume a lot of these. Honestly, just two or three of them does the trick. They're a super high quality nut and they're super high in selenium, which is exactly what we need to allow this iodine process to occur. You see the selenium is a precursor to the iodine process that T4 needs to convert to T3. So very, very important and the quickest and easiest and keto friendly way to get selenium is going to be through Brazil nuts. The other thing you wanna get is good high quality yogurt. Okay, good high quality forms of getting your probiotics in. 20% of your thyroid function is dependent on your gut bacteria. So if your gut bacteria is aloof and completely out of whack, you're rendering 20% of your thyroid function useless. So that's exactly why I included it in this list. And again, another product you can get cheaper than the grocery store just by hitting Thrive Marketplace. So don't be afraid of the ketogenic diet because of your thyroid. Trust me, there's a lot more to losing weight than just that gland that we call the thyroid. Trust me, there's a lot more. So make sure you check out Thrive and a huge thank you to Thrive Marketplace for making this video possible and for being a major sponsor of this channel as well. I will see you all in the next video.